Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.1 of the MyLinux for Work dot files is now available for you to download. The MyLinux for Work dot files are an advanced hyperland configuration, a full desktop environment based on the dynamic tiling window manager hyperland. The new version includes again a lot of optimizations, bug fixes and improvements. And of course, many of new features. One of the new features is the new wallpaper effect engine. With wallpaper effects, you can change on the fly the look and feel of your selected wallpaper with image manipulation effects. I had so much fun to try out the wallpaper effects with my existing wallpaper repository. But that's not all. You can also add your own custom effects to the library. Nautilus is now the new default file manager. Nautilus fits perfectly to the rest of the My Linux for Work apps with the LibAdvisor GTK4 theme. The Waybar now supports tooltips to give you a better orientation what's behind every module. And I chip a screen shading feature with Hypershader. I have also moved the documentation from the README into a dedicated wiki on GitLab. That makes it hopefully easier for you to read the documentation and find help. If you like that video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like and support this video. And with that, let's jump in. Welcome to the Hyperlint desktop with the MyLinuxForWork dot files in the version 2.9.1. Let's start with the first update. And the update is the system information that you can see when you open a terminal. In the past, I used pfetch. Now I switched to fastfetch because pfetch is not supported anymore. And you see here the condensed version of fastfetch. And if you need the full version, then you open it with entering fastfetch. And also here, very nice look of the system information. The second change is that now Nautilus is the default file manager. So you can click here on the icon and Nautilus starts and you can access your documents. I think Nautilus with the LibAdvisor based theme fits very well, for example, to the apps. Yeah, so same look and feel for the welcome app, but also the dot files app. All these applications are based on LibAdvisor GTK4. The next change is when you are, for example, in the web and you start a research or you are in Outlook or Teams and you need support from AI, from ChatGPT, then you can open AI here. We Now you are here in the ChatGPT dialog and it opens directly in the floating mod. So you can move it around with super key and left mouse key and keep it open and start working. Hopefully also here, nice usability improvement. Let's close the windows. You see here the new default wallpaper of the my Linux work dot files in the version 2.9.1. And the new version comes with wallpaper effects. So if you hover with your mouse, over that wheel icon and right click on the wallpaper icon. And you see here that some functions will be offered to modify the wallpaper. For example, let's start with blur. I execute blur and the wallpaper changes into a blurred version. But there is much more. Right click and you can also transition the wallpaper to a black and white version. This looks also very fancy. And much more, you can switch it to a black white version with a blur effect. Also nice. And you can use the blur one effect again and reduce the brightness that brings, for example, all windows and way bar a bit more into focus. And now it's getting fancy. 
So because there is another effect, negate. And this will switch the color scale completely. And I think that looks very nice. And with that effect, you can play a lot. Let's change the Weber theme to a dark version. Let's take here blur black. Yeah, now you see the interface elements, the modules of Weber very well. And the cool thing here is when you change to another wallpaper, the effect will be also enabled. Let's switch to another wallpaper with super key shift W. This looks fancy, <laughs> yeah? And you can, of course, also switch back to a blurred version. You can select with the left mouse key another wallpaper. Let's try this one. This is the blurred version immediately activated. And let's use here again the negate effect with a reduced brightness to 80%. This looks also cool. When you open Hyperlock with a right mouse click here on the lock symbol, you see that also here for the calculation of the blur effect, the modified wallpaper will be used and you see the original one in the middle in that circle as a thumbnail. It's so much fun and I really like it to try out my existing wallpaper repository with these enabled effects. And you can switch it off by selecting off. And you have again the original wallpaper. If you want to add more wallpaper effects, you can do this in the folder hyper effects and then wallpaper. And here you see all the effects that are chipped with the my Linux work dot files. And it's very easy. For example, the black white blur effect consists of two commands, two image magic commands. Magic wallpaper is the current selected wallpaper. And I set the color space to gray with two additional parameters and I write the image into the variable used wallpaper. And then you can use the variable used wallpaper in the second command and set up a blur effect. Yeah, very easy. For example, if we want to create a, another negate effect and reduce the brightness even more, you can copy that file, you can paste it in, you can rename it. For example, we reduce now the brightness to 50% and we reduce the brightness by to 50%. I save it, that file and now let's switch back to a uh, workspace without an application open here to that wallpaper, right click on the icon for wallpaper effects, scroll down. Here is your new negate brightness 50 effect, enable it and it's working. You have created a negate effect and have reduced the brightness level. Another helpful feature is that you can enable shader filter for example, in the evening, if you are still working, then you can click here on that icon and you can enable a blue light filter, which makes it a bit more comfortable for your eyes. With the right click, you can, for example, also here invert the colors with super key shift S, I can toggle the shader. Now it's deactivated and now we have the inverted colors, if you like it. With super key shift S, you can again deactivate the filter. And the vibrance filter is also enabled and you can also turn it off. Let's switch it back to blue light filter. With super key shift S, you can toggle the filter. With super key shift S, you can deactivate the filter again. Let's close the windows and with a new key binding with super key control B, you can toggle Waybar. Now Waybar is hidden and you can still work without having 
Waiver open, and if you want to have it back, super key, control B, and Waiver is back. And all the other applications are, of course, still available. I open the Hyperland app. I reduce the border size to zero, increase the gaps a bit, and the gaps out. I really like it at the moment if there's a bit space around the windows. I I reduce the opacity from 10 to 9 for active windows and for inactive windows to 7. Yeah, and you see already that this looks very modern. Let's switch to another wallpaper. And also this is a very nice effect. So you see, I extend the features for rising um, the dot files more and more to give you the opportunity to create your own personal Hyperland experience. Let me show you how you can install the My Linux Work dot files. I'm here on Endeavor. It's an Arch Linux based distribution. And the first step that you should do is to make sure that your system is up to date. So click here on update. Then enter your password. There are some few updates available. Let's install them. And that's it. OK, now we are ready to install the dot files. To do this, I open a browser and enter the URL of my GitLab repository, gitlab.com. Stefan Rabe, dot files. When you scroll down, you see here in the installation section this command. Copy that command into a terminal. And you can start the installer. In the first step, the installer will download all required files into your downloads folder. Please select here main release if you want to install the latest tested release. The rolling release is more a dev release and which includes the latest commit into the dev branch. And I confirm the installation with yes. I will start the installation. System is already up to date, so no need to run the update again. I can create a backup from the existing .bashrc file. I do this and I install all new packages only. I will not reinstall all packages again, though the script will check what is already installed and will install the missing packages. Now I can select between the two profiles or I can also choose both. In that case, I only select Hyperland and the installation of Hyperland starts. I will use the wallpapers that are chipped with the dot files, so I will not download the down, uh, wallpaper repository now. I will install STDM and the related theme. I need to change the keyboard layout. That's why I select change. I enter DE. I don't need a keyboard variant in that case. That's why I select here no. And I proceed with this keyboard setting. I'm not on a laptop, but if you are on a laptop, you can select here yes and some more laptop special settings. I'm in a KVM virtual machine, that's why I confirm this with yes. And now I will install the prepared dot files to the final location. The My Linux for Work apps have been installed successfully as well. I enable the GTK settings from the dot files. I will enable the .bashrc file 
and I can run a short system check. And you see that all required packages to run the dot files are enabled and the execution commands have been found. And I can reboot the system now. And here is the STVM display manager with the enabled theme. And the theme is already using the new default wallpaper. And I can log in and select Hyperland. And here are the mylinuxwork.files in the version 2.9.1. Let's change the screen resolution. You can do this with the dot .files app. In systems, scroll down and you, you see here in monitors, I select here 1920 to 1080 and you have the right screen resolution enabled. If you want to update an existing dot .files installation to the latest version, you can do this with the welcome app. Click here on the three dots and select update reinstall dot .files and select main release for the latest tested release, so 2.9.1, or the rolling release, which is the dev branch. This is the new version 2.9.1 of the MyLinux for Work dot .files, an advanced Hyperland configuration. Have fun with the new features, have fun with Hyperland, and have fun with the new wiki documentation of the MyLinux for Work dot .files. See you next time.